Today I'll be wiring up a W123 glow plug relay uh, to the car to warm up the OM606. Now this particular relay I think was off like an 80 or an, to an 82. It's a little different than the one that was on my 1977-123, but it'll function just the same. What I like about it is it's uh, it was actually mounted on the fender apron, so it's more of a weatherproof case. It's more suitable to mount on the bracket that I made that'll go on the OM606 in my original version. Now in this video we're going to uh, walk through the relay connections and then we're going to go ahead and uh, mount it to the custom bracket, take care of the wiring harness on the engine side, and then unfortunately I have to dig into my painless wiring and the ignition switch so that I can go ahead and and trigger the relay from a key position on the switch rather than having a toggle, toggle switch. I, I think the original wiring uh, model makes more sense. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are with our relay. I know the uh, cell phone screen is uh, really bright and doesn't show up well, but we'll be using that as a timer uh, to, to show how long this relay stays active. Now, if we look at the, the connections, uh, really on the side here, we can see that we have our glow plugs laid out. On one side we have three, one side we have two. So the plan, since we're going from a five-cylinder relay to a six-cylinder, is really just to piggyback cylinder six off of the four connection. So pretty straightforward. Now the other connections on here, we have the main power, we have a ground, we have the source, this is the red and black wire. This will go to the key position. And then we have these two other wires. To be honest, I don't know what the purple one originally went to, and it's not worth me researching. The blue one, I believe, was an indicator. I'll show you the problem uh, I found with the blue one. So let's go ahead and wire up what we do know. So if we set this down here, um, we have power going to red, ground going to brown, I'm going to hook a little LED up. It's just a little 5 volt LED. I'm going to hook that ground up the same clip here. And then the power, for now, I'm going to hook to this blue wire. Okay, next I want to go ahead and hook up a ground wire to my meter. And then I'm going to hook up the meter to one of the glow plug outputs. So as I mentioned, the red wire, which is right here, is really the key position. So I'm going to go ahead and click this over uh, to positive, and we will watch the meter. And I'm also going to start the timer about the same time. So watch the LED. It already clicked off. You can see the meter. We're at almost uh, 12, well, we are at 12 and a half volts. Okay, so the relay just clicked off. It was about 30 seconds, again, starting both the same time, exact time. Uh, just didn't happen. So um, we dropped our voltage. We're down into millivolts now, so it's really not even registering. So what I'm going to do is actually wire my dash indicator in with one of the glow plugs. Uh, these really don't have much of a draw at all. It's, it's not significant, but it'll be more accurate. I'm going to go ahead and piggy, uh, piggyback six off of glow plug four. I'm going to hook my lighting up to uh, glow plug one. Other than that, it's just my ground wire, my key wire, and my battery wire. Okay, so here we have the old harness, and you can see the wrap is starting to come off, um, and it's really just kind of kind of messy. Also, it's getting uh, cluttered, and there's a lot of opportunity for binding things up with the throttle linkage here. So I'm actually going to pull this off. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to try to leave the original wrap where I can at the end points, but I want to have it all come across and down and tuck behind here, and I want to fasten the loom to the uh, the pump support here and come down. Now my bracket, which is right here, it will come up to almost the height of the pump. 
So what I want to do is have the, the wire loom come down and then have enough of a tail to come back up and plug in. So the reason for that is I want to be able to make it serviceable. If I take off the two bolts that hold the uh, relay on, then I can uh, undo those, pull it out, hold it in my hand, and still have it connected. And uh, there's enough wire here to do that. So let's get started. So now that we have our glow plug relay set up and all wired, let's go ahead and review the two connections that we still have to make. We have our white wire, which is going to go to the first key position, uh, which will trigger the relay. And then we have the blue wire, which is simply connected to the first glow plug and we'll use that as an indicator and here I have it set up uh, to be on the LED. So essentially if we turn the key to the first position now we're going to trigger that relay on and it's going to last about 30 seconds. Okay so after 30 seconds uh, our glow plug relay kicks off. We should be good to go. We can crank the engine and uh, go about our way. So we've walked through the pinout on the relay. You've watched me set up the wire loom mount the bracket, mount the relay to the bracket, and we've also performed a little test here to make sure that it's functioning as we expect it to. What I didn't show was the actual wire getting set up inside the connector on the ignition switch. That's because it takes a fair amount of time and patience to put that in place, and that's not something that I plan on doing today. So on the screen you will see uh, the pinout for the connector, and all that I need to do is to hook up the white wire to the correct pin, and then that first switch position will trigger the glow plug relay. So if there's something you guys would like to see, please message me. I prefer to get private messages on Facebook. I really don't uh, read my uh, Gmail at all, so if you try to email me through my YouTube channel, I don't usually check that. I just really select all and delete my messages most of the time. Use the Facebook Messenger associated with the page and uh, feel free to contact me if I can help you in some way. 
So thanks for watching.